Today in our 2014 Ford Mustang, we're going to review and install the Kurt Class 1 1 quarter inch receiver tube hitch, part number C11210. Now here's what our hitch is going to look like once it's installed. As you can see, we've got a nice square cross tube design. It's a fully welded construction and a really nice black powder coated finish so it blends in with the underbody of our vehicle. The only thing really exposed is our chain hold downs that will be on each side of the receiver tube, the half inch pre-drilled hole, and our one and a quarter inch by one and a quarter inch receiver tube. This hitch is capable of up to 200 pounds of tongue weight and a 2,000 pound tow capacity. Next, we'll go ahead and give you a couple measurements to assist you with selecting accessories for your new hitch. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the outermost edge of the bumper is seven and a half inches. From the top of the receiver tube opening down to the ground, is 10 and a half inches. This will assist you with selecting accessories such as a ball mount, bike rack, or cargo carrier. We'll now go ahead and show you the minimum tools required for installing the hitch. We'll have a ratchet and 13 millimeter socket, 11 16 socket, pry bar, and a torque wrench. Now let's go ahead and show you how to install the hitch. To begin our install, we first need to lower the exhaust. Now keep in mind that each process we do here on one side is going to get repeated identically on the opposite side. Now to lower our exhaust, we're going to remove the rubber isolator from the metal hanger that secures the muffler. To make it easier to remove the rubber isolator from the metal hanger, we're going to spray it down with a spray lubricant. Then use our pry bar pliers to remove it. Next, we'll move forward on the exhaust and loosen the clamp that secures the muffler to the exhaust pipe. This will allow the muffler to rotate down. Now, once the muffler swings down and out of the way, here above the muffler is going to be a large round hole pre-drilled by the manufacturer. This will be the access hole to get our hardware into the frame and pull it into position through the pre-drilled holes in the frame by the manufacturer for our attachment points. These will be two offset or diagonal holes in the outside of the frame. Now the hardware we're going to use to secure the hitch that's supplied with our install kit will be a 7 16 carriage bolt and block. It will get fed into the frame and out through the attachment points once our hitch is up in position. To get the hardware into the frame, We'll use a 7 16 pull wire that's provided with the install kit. And then once the hitch is in place and our hardware is pulled into position, we'll secure it with the 7 16 flange nut. Go ahead and start by taking our pull wire. We'll feed it through the attachment point and out the access hole. Now once we have the full wire fed out the access hole, we'll go ahead and take our block and slide it on and thread the carriage bolt into the end of the pull wire. Next, we'll go ahead and feed them into the frame through the access hole separately. We'll take our pull wire and pull them all the way out to the attachment point. This way we know we're in position. Now I'm just going to slide it back into the frame until we get the hitch up into place. We'll leave the pull wire attached so that we can feed it through the hitch and pull the pull wire into position. Now with our first one done, we'll repeat the same process with our second attachment point here on the passenger side. All right, now with the passenger side prepped, we'll go ahead and repeat the same process on the driver's side.
Now with both sides ready, we'll go ahead and put our hitch in place. It's a good idea to get an extra hand to help you hold the hitch. We'll feed the hitch up to the exhaust. We'll take our pull wire and feed it through the hitch attachment points. Now once we have the pull wires through the hitch, we'll go ahead and slide the hitch up next to the frame. Now once we use the pull wires to pull the carriage bolts out through the side of the hitch, we'll go ahead and remove them and install the flange nut. To make it a little easier to get your nut started without pushing your hardware back into the frame, you can just take a screwdriver and put a little side pressure on the carriage bolt. Now with all our hardware in place, we'll go ahead and tighten it down. Once we have it all tightened down, we can go ahead and torque the specifications as indicated instructions. We'll put our exhaust hanger back on. And then tighten down the clamp. Now with our hitch tightened down, torque specifications, and the exhaust reinstalled, we're ready to hit the road. And that'll do it for the review and install of the Kurt Class 1 1 quarter inch receiver tube hitch, part number C11210 on our 2014 Ford Mustang.